Hello, Facebook friends. I had to get out of the house. I've been just following this boulder shooting thing, and it just makes me furious. I'm just so upset. And so I had to get it out to the garden, which is where you go whenever you are just had it. Trust me, it's awful. So um, I always feel like, you know, I'm really missing you all during this pandemic. This has been really hard on lots of people, probably everybody, but boy, it has been very difficult on people like me who just love people. I love being around people. I love, I love you all. I want it. Well, most of you. <laughs> I miss you all so much. I got my first vaccine yesterday, but it's still going to be a while. Um, just, just been really hard. So, um, I'm retreating to my garden and, and I'm doing a live video because I feel like whenever I can do a live video, then I can, uh, be with you guys to some extent. So I, I'm going to come out here and do some pulling weed pulling. It's been really great keeping uh, the weeds under control. So, <laughs> Yeah, I, I I would love to come and do your garden, J, JD. I, I absolutely would love that. Um, not likely to happen anyway. So let me do a little tour. I did something different um, that I've been wanting to do for a while. And I don't know, I learned something. So I'll show you guys as I go. Anyway, you're looking at my California poppies, my backyard. It's beautiful out here. Here's my garden today. It smells so wonderful because of the freesias and um, different things that are blooming. You can see the apricot tree is starting to bloom. And um, I'm getting buds on. Look at here. Here's some cherries. They're going to start. And um, plums over here. So if you can see in the background there, a rustling. That's what I want to show you. So I've been... Strawberries are expensive. I, buy, I go through a lot of strawberries. So what I did is I went down to Home Depot and I got this uh, make yourself raised bed. And I've had strawberries, but I, I just can't seem to get them to grow well over here. The birds eat them and, and I have so many problems. So what I'm gonna do is show you what I did. I went down and they have these cement blocks. And uh, this is just Susan doing this. This isn't anything fancy. But this is how they do it. So I had them cut this wood. It's it's redwood, uh, two by six by twelve feet, and I had them cut it down so that I could I could do this without having to get my saw out. But these are these cement blocks. You just stick them there, and you put the wood inside. There's no hammering, no nothing. It's easy to move if you really need to move it. And then I had to buy ten bags of compost because I don't have this much compost in my house. Now I put this in here. This is a like a net. It's a bird net. You can see there's some strawberries down there. And those would just be eaten alive by something or birds if I didn't have this covered. So we did this a couple days ago. And um, my strawberries that I had been growing elsewhere and around the garden, I put in here. I've also got these wood, pieces of flat wood, that I believe are supposed to help keep it from being on the ground. So if I tilt it at an angle like this, then that's supposed to keep it from having the like the mealy bugs and stuff like that that get into the into the plant and eat it. So I'm hoping this is my oh look at this one. I don't even notice that the other day. So here's a green one growing. So I have some pieces of wood right here. And I'm gonna put it like that and kind of put it at an angle like that. So it'll help keep the, the plant off of the ground and the bird shouldn't be able to get here. And I'm using slug, Sluggo to get rid of the snails because we've got a problem with snails. And then when I was at uh, Ace Hardware, I had tried this before, but I had tried it using just some, some um, uh, from uh, like a party store. But this is something I found at Ace Hardware. It's a roll, like $8. And I just stapled it to the fence and that way it makes fluttering noises to help keep the birds away. And I put it on my peach tree right here and here in the wind to help keep the uh, plants, you know, the birds from getting onto the plants. Now, I did this a few years ago on my tree or last year. And the thing is, is that I keep all the windows in the back of the house open and they 
you know, the, the blinds open at least. And these flickering things are just go right through the house. You can see this light, the mylar catching it. So I decided to try to do the trees. When I, when I go to do my fruit trees, I'm going to try to do the fruit trees in the back part of the tree. So it's not so much the front. We've taken out our bird feeders because of the salmonella problem with the birds and um, bird feeders that everybody on the West Coast is supposed to be doing. And I really didn't realize how much I missed my, the birds coming to the bird feeder. I really did. And I got a really nice bird book because I don't know much about birds. Uh, Robin, Robin Welsh recommended and it just came in the mail yesterday. And I thought, all right, I can identify birds. Oh, Lord, where's the birds? <laughs> so here's my tomatoes that have gotten eaten a little bit by snails. We'll see if we can get them to, to go through it. I, I put the sluggo on afterwards. I'm using, I'm using um, forks and other things to keep the cats out because I have outdoor cats. And um, I think these will be all right. I think this, the, the tomatoes will come back. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Sunflowers getting ready it's not quite noon over here it's like 11 o'clock in the morning so the sunflowers haven't really bloomed and then there's uh you know aren't hitting the sun by the way my strawberries will get sun just a little bit later in the day and i've been trying to clean up this area back here this is where i keep my compost and i've got to figure out what i'm going to do with this area i'm trying to clean it out it's one of my goals to get done on top of everything else, what else can I show you? Let's see. There's a tomato in here that I planted. I use a clothespin to tell what kind of plant it is. And so on. Oranges? Anybody want orange? This is my plan today is to do a little weeding out here before I start. I go on to Zoom with the Australian Prediction Project where we go in and evaluate all the claims that the psychics have made in Australia for the past 20 years. Somebody's got to look into it and decide if they were right or wrong. So um, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, look at my pink jasmine. Oh my God, this smells so good. I always say I could, I could just lay in that and just fall asleep and be in heaven. It, it's such an amazing smell. So spring is definitely here in California, at least in my area. You can see a little bee going from California poppy to California poppy. But I hope to see you all soon. Please take good care. It's been a really bad, bad time um, this year. So please take care of yourself and I hope to see you soon. Stay in touch.